Hey, it's Chris, and today One Peloton announced a new premium Peloton bike and a new cheaper tread. So what do I think, and are we gonna buy one? Let's find out in today's video. Today, One Peloton announced a new premium Peloton bike, the new Peloton Bike Plus, which has some pretty cool new features. The new Bike Plus sells for $2,495, while the original bike now drops to $1,895. If you did buy a Peloton bike in the last 30 days, you will automatically see a $350 refund. So you end up paying the new cheaper price, which is actually really nice. So the Bike Plus now includes a 23.8 inch rotating touchscreen. Let me say it again, rotating, it rotates finally. This was a major request from Peloton users, and I'm so glad that it's finally made it into the new version of the bike. Also changed is a new four speaker sound system, so it's easier to hear the instructors and music without headphones. Uh, they also added Apple's gym kit support, which lets you sync your metrics using your Apple Watch. So it'll let that Apple Watch really start connecting to the bike more. And the last big feature that was added is the auto follow digital resistance system. So when an instructor changes the resistance, the bike will use your target metrics that you've already put in there. and It'll automatically change that resistance for you. Sounds cool, but I gotta see it in action before I can make a decision. Overall, the new Bike Plus has some pretty cool new features that you have to pay some extra money for. You know, you get the bigger rotating screen, the nicer speakers, gym kit support, and that auto adjusting resistance. But there's not really anything that makes the old bike obsolete. If someone was buying a bike right now, I would push them toward the more premium bike plus because of the things that are added, I think they're worth that extra $350. So how does all this affect current Peloton bike owners? Well, now you can trade in your current Peloton bike and receive a rebate for $700. We've had our bike for three years, it still works perfectly. There's not a reason mechanically to upgrade, but these new features are pretty attractive. So we will be taking advantage of the trading program and buying a new one when it goes on sale tomorrow. Also announced was a cheaper Peloton Tread. The previous Tread is now known as the Tread Plus. So now the entire line of Peloton equipment has a premium model and then the more cheaper accessible one. The cheaper Peloton Tread has a 23.8 inch HD touchscreen with built-in speakers. So that new screen looks really familiar to the screen on the new Peloton Bike Plus, but there's no mention of it being able to rotate like the bike does, which kind of sucks. Uh, the new Tread is now smaller. Peloton says it's smaller than most couches at 68 inches long, 33 inches wide, and 62 inches high. For reference, the current tread is 72.5 inches long, 36.5 inches wide, and 72 inches high. Besides decreasing the price, one Peloton had to also decrease the size of the tread if they want it to be anywhere near as popular as the Peloton bike. The Tread Plus is huge and takes some real commitment and space to own, so that smaller one's gonna be amazing. Probably the most exciting thing is now the Peloton Tread costs $2,495, which is a significant drop from the $4,295 that the newly renamed Peloton Tread Plus costs. It's my belief that the Peloton Tread is not sold anywhere near as well as the bike. There are not nearly as many Peloton Tread Live classes, even though it's been out for almost two years. The new Tread is gonna change that. A lot of people who like running are gonna buy this Tread. If you're an existing Peloton Tread user, this is gonna be big. More people using that Tread means more classes, more attention, and I'm excited. One thing that was announced was a rower. It looks like it's still in development. I'm not really into rowing, and um, I don't see that as being a mass market device for Peloton, so it's not something I'm terribly interested or disappointed that it wasn't announced. Now that there are different versions of each machine, which one should you buy? In my opinion, the Peloton Bike Plus, the new one was just announced, is the one I would recommend for someone who wants a Peloton bike. The new features are worth that extra $350, especially if you plan on doing any of the floor workouts or using your Apple Watch, stuff like that that's been added. In my opinion, it's worth it. Now, when it comes to the treadmill, the tread is way too large for most people. The new cheaper one is kind of like the sweet spot of features, price, and size. So I'd recommend it for anyone who wants a home treadmill. So that's the new Peloton Bike Plus and a cheaper Peloton Tread. The Bike Plus adds features that all of us Peloton bike riders have asked for, while the Peloton Tread fixes two of its biggest issues. 
with extremely high price and large size. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you wanna see my video whenever I make one on the new Peloton bike, the Peloton Bike Plus. If you wanna see that video, I'm gonna order the bike tomorrow, so whenever I get it, I'll make a video on it. If you wanna see that, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you have questions or comments about the new stuff or the old stuff, hit me up down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.